Well, hey guys, good afternoon. So, um, have you guys seen all the ice everywhere? That's crazy. So the Lord, you know, gave me three warnings about ice back in February coming. And then there's just been like huge hail coming everywhere. I saw some in like Florida and Georgia now. So I think things are really, um, really vamping up. Also on the 20th, you know, he said, New Zealand earthquake sevenfold. And then I heard on the 24th, they just got a 7.1 earthquake. So trust in Jesus, guys, because I really do feel like he's coming soon. You know, I keep getting messages. Today I was with my friend Betsy, and she's an online, online believer. And um, we met for lunch, and literally she's parking the car, and the Lord just starts going like this and giving me a message. And I was like, when she comes in, I showed her the two lines. I was like, Betsy, he just started giving me a message. Well, in the, he stopped and we started talking and chatting. We started talking about the calendar. And then all of a sudden, spirit picked up again. And he started giving me clues, you know, for the calendar. He loves that we're seeking him, guys. He loves it. And so um, she got to witness uh, me getting a message from Jesus, like in the moment. So it was real cool to, for her to see, you know, we prayed together and stuff, but she could really feel the spirit and, you know, she'd see me getting the messages. Very supernatural. I wonder what all the people around me thought. <laughs> I didn't even look because I was paying attention to God. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, God is awesome and he's really brought me around, you know, some awesome believer friends. So I just, I thank the Lord for all that and all of you guys for being so supportive. Um, to keep me going. So I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God. He's also God. And you can look that up in Isaiah, by the way. Somebody was arguing with me about that. But you can look it up in Isaiah. It talks about salvation and being God and stuff like that. So he led me to that. Um, and I claim that he came uh, to earth as a man in the flesh. And he died on the cross for our sins. And he rose on the third day. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Now this is probably going to be... Um, a two-part message because it's kind of long so I'm gonna start it and then I'll probably do part two okay well this is the first message <clears throat> first he gave me scripture Jude 1 through 1 3 through 8 beloved why while I was very diligent to write you to you concerning our common salvation I found it necessary to write to you exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints, for certain men have crept in unnoticed, who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. As Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, flesh are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Zephaniah 2.11 The Lord will be awesome to them, for he will reduce to nothing all the gods of the earth. People shall worship him, each one from his place, indeed all the shores of the nations. Malachi 1.5 Your eyes shall see and you shall say, The Lord is magnified beyond the border of Israel. Ruth 4.9 and Boaz said to the elders and all the people, You are witnesses this day that I have brought all that was Elmelix and all that was Chelons and Malons from the hand of Naomi. Jonah 2 7. <clears throat> when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Jeremiah 1 14. Then the Lord said to me, Out of the north calamity shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. And here's a little tiny message. Mordecai, Esther, the Jews, I will redeem them. They will have my seal of protection. The ones who believe in me, my chosen ones, my elect, my children, they will escape the hour of trial I am coming on the world, on this world. Jeremiah 29, 11. 
For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, and to give you a future and a hope. Job 21.3 Bear with me that I may speak, and after I have spoken, keep mocking. Leviticus 4.6 the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before the Lord in front of the veil of the sanctuary. Now remember, he's talking to Jews, unbelievers, and believers and all the messages. Here's a message. The great reset is coming. You will own nothing and be happy. The fall of the economy is coming. I love to see my people seeking me with all their hearts. My true calendar, what a beautiful mystery. Find my true calendar, look at the moon, and count the days in between the Sabbaths. When does the moon start? What time of day is it? Is it breaking the dawn? My true calendar was designed to show the glory of the heavens I have created. The stars, the moon, the sea, the trees all correlate somehow. Seek me, I will help you find it. It hasn't been revealed yet, but more pieces are coming and it will all fall into place. You will understand why soon. Remember, everything has been changed. The devil has twisted my original design so you can't see my truths in the heavens. My design. It's all been covered up to confuse you. Who is the author of confusion? Do you get it now? Can you see the patterns? Do you see how all the calendars line up with the days? They have taken some away and they have added some. It's right in front of your face. My hour is here. Tick tock, it's turning. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, pay attention. You will see the pattern. I told you to keep your lamps full. This is keeping your lamps full. Praying and worshiping me, seeking me, asking me for discernment and believing in me. Some of you are on the prowl like the devil, seeking who you may devour. Where is your heart, child? Where is your love? Quarrels are the footstool of the devil. Oh, how he is loving every word you speak. Deception is real and he is deceiving many of you. You aren't in my word and you aren't asking me for my understanding. You aren't being guided by the Holy Spirit. Geometria, there is a hidden meaning. If you look at it, you will find it. Or geometria. Geometria, geometria. I can't always remember after I hear it. This is like later on. Geometria, there's a hidden meaning. If you look at it, you will find it. I can't wait to see my bride. Perm and Passover, is it the same day? Find my true calendar and you will know. Time is so short, my children. I know everyone's heart. I know everyone's thoughts and I am coming. Don't listen to vultures, thieves trying to steal your joy. The good news is spreading and before my wrath pours down, I will pick up my bride. I love you. Believe in me with all your hearts and I will save you. Minnesota will see fire. Train derailment. Connecticut storm drains flood. Uh, I'm sorry. Connecticut storm drains flood. And I was looking up that, guys. I think there's like a, a system there or something where they run the, the storm draining. I don't know. I'm not sure, but that's what I heard. The moon upside down Virgo at her feet has a double meaning. My door is closing. The prodigal son has it returned. Did he make the journey from the stars? The movies, the lights, the cinema, it's all one big puzzle. If you pay attention and search the scriptures, you will find it. Ice means something, also a hidden meeting. Wake up, child, I'm at the door. I'm your Jehovah and I have spoken. Okay, so Revelation 15. Well, I'm gonna start a new video. We'll do part two for the next one and we'll go into that. Okay, guys, have a blessed day. If you don't know Jesus, trust in him. He loves you and he wants to save everybody. He doesn't want anyone to perish. So believe in him today. God bless.